Hey everyone, welcome back. Today is day 16 of Index Card a Day. You create a piece of art on a 4x6 index, index card. So welcome. Today I'm starting off by priming some uh, wooden squares that I got in a pack. I got it in a bookstore actually and it was about $15. You know, like $4.99, so $15. And you get 50 pieces in it, different sizes, different shapes. So I just pulled out some and I am priming it with a white acrylic paint because I'm going to put some paint over it. I'm not sure what colors yet but I'm just priming it for now. I'm going to set it aside and deal with my card. So I'm now putting on the extra excess paint onto the card. And I'm now moving in with my colors, my background colors. The colors I'm using are natural beige, sun yellow, and cool blue. This is by Deco Art Acrylic Paint. So I'm just randomly putting it on. Well, not so randomly. I'm trying not to let the colors really touch each other. So I'm doing it in sections. Yeah. <laughs> And now I'm going in with party pink, stenciling it in with a, a makeup sponge through a paper stencil that I made. I just, I had an old card and I, I ripped a hole. I didn't cut it because I didn't want straight edges. So I ripped the hole out so that I could have some nice jagged edges. And now I'm softening it up, softening up the stencil. I didn't do the inside, I just wanted the outline of it. So it'll be kind of cloudy, faded. Yeah. And now I'm going in, I think this is a helix stencil, circle stencil, and I'm just using a regular lead pencil to halfway trace some circles. What I'm really doing is just putting some of the shapes that I'm going to use on the card. From the wooden shapes so i'm just repeating the shapes on the background of the card that's all and and adding color to it And this blue that I just put down on the plastic, it's called Fathalo Blue. It's spelled P-H-T-H-A-L-O. So I think that's Fathalo Blue, <laughs> number 451. And this is by Marie's. It's another um, type of acrylic paint that I discovered in a stationery store. And I just, I love it. It's thick and beautiful. It's yummy. So I'm just putting it in, I'm not putting it on heavy, I'm just, you know, just adding color to the card. Yeah, that's cool. And now I'm going to give it a little border, am I? Right, I'm testing my shapes to see if I like how it look how the background looks against the shapes in the same space i'm checking my space that's what's happening so now i've decided to add color to my shapes i was going to i think i was going to leave it plain oh, i don't remember you know 
but I decided to add color and I'm just um, doing these sides as well so it would look a little more finished. And what I'm doing here is repeating the color as well. So the colors that I use on the background, I'm using on my shapes, my wooden shapes. And it's so fun to paint with your fingers. I hope you'll do it and try it and experiment with it. It's fantastic. And as I really like this blue, I decided to give all the shapes this blue finish border. I'm just brushing it on with the sponge. And then I'm going to put a border around the card as well. So it'll kind of match up. After laying out the, the wood pieces, I found that you couldn't really see it. It, it was because the card is so busy and so bright. I couldn't see the, the it wasn't standing out. So now I'm, I'm dulling the background of the card by adding white acrylic paint so that I could see my shape. So it could pop more on the card. So I'm just making the background more backgroundy. See, you know when you watch a movie and you're and you see the, the, the star in the shot and the background people, the extras there, they make them blurred. Yeah, that's what it is. <laughs> kind of blew them out because you want to focus on that person in the front, the foreground. Yeah. So that's what I did. I blurred my background. Now I'm giving my card a border. I really like this blue. It's pretty. And then I'm gonna try and remember exactly how I had my shapes and get them stuck down. That looks so pretty. So I have some words here. This wo these words are saying definitely not the same. I cut these out from a book. I'm trying to figure out where to put them on the card. So I'm just gonna fiddle around. To see where I like it, where it feels right. Here I'm just trying to cover up the whole, it, it really not working. <laughs> but I was flipping through my book and I found these, I saw these words and it just felt right so I cut them out and I found it was not, you couldn't see it on the card so I'm giving the words a little background of its own. While that's drying, it's time to stick my pieces down. I'm still trying to figure out where to put it. 
and I think I like it there. And that's basically it for my card. Thank you very much for watching. Oh, when I was done, I felt it looked a bit blank, so I just added some splatters in the background. So thank you for watching. Bye!